This is my Honda self-propelled lawnmower, which I've pretty well completely stripped apart. And the reason I did that was to clean out this carburetor, which was totally full of gunk. This is your uh, float bowl here. When I open that up, you take a nut off the bottom here, and then this piece comes off, and it was just totally full of garbage. Um, it had sat for um, all winter with apparently some pretty rotten gas in it with some water in there, and it had corroded in there. So I took that out, sprayed it out with carb spray, and uh, took some... Uh, uh, steel wool and just shined it up on the inside took a wire off of a wire brush cleaned out the jet I'm in the process of reassembling that now as soon as that's done this thing will start that's good because it has been raining outside for about a week and as soon as that sun comes out that grass is gonna grow just like gangbusters so we need to get this thing done as well. Now this thing has not made it onto uh, YouTube quite yet, but this is a 1982 Honda Goldwing, which I bought uh, at a very, very low price, which I was thankful for. Thank you, John. And uh, it had not run in uh, several years, three years roughly. And uh, I got it out of Calgary. I wanted to see if I could fix it without uh, putting too much money into it. And um, when I say I fixed it without putting too much money in it, what I mean is it cost me $12 to fix it. So, well, that's not quite true. $12 plus I had to buy a battery, but I don't really think buying batteries is fixing a, a vehicle. I think that's just something you have to do. It's kind of like buying new shoes isn't exactly going to the doctor. But put a battery in it. I uh, poured in a can of sea foam. And just to see what would happen if I flipped the key, I did so. Let me show you what happened. Turn it, wait for your lights to come on. That red light uh, basically means that it's not running. You want to see that green light come on. Now the green light comes on when I shift gears with my foot here. That is the gear shift lever. My foot's underneath. And when I lift up on that, a green light comes on. That means the bike is in neutral and that means it's ready to start. So we'll choke it. We'll see if she'll start. My starters just started giving me problems, but let's try again. Hasn't run in a few days. and idols twelve dollars and it passed an out-of-province safety there she is choke is off idols no problem I've probably put about 500 kilometers on it since I got it And it is a really fun bike. It is an 1100, which is a lot of motor for this bike. And on the highway, it just powers. Now, my old YouTube video, remember this bike, this was the bike that had all the paint issues. Uh, it's getting painted. As soon as that one gets painted, it goes up for sale. Uh, you've seen this motorcycle now and then. That one's not actually mine. That one got laid over and uh, is going to get fixed. So I didn't lay it over. A friend of mine did. Everybody's okay, but it's just being stored here. So that's what's been going on in my shop. Basically, 